You ready? Did you start the video? Yeah, I started. Oh, good. I was doing the Spy Kids 3 countdown. I was going to say, where's your intro? My intro is opening a soda can at the start of the recording session. Is it actually really? Actually, it is. Anytime I have a soda can, I start off the recording session by opening it on the first video I record. That way you know when the videos, what videos were recorded in what session. Huh. Interesting setup, I suppose. I applied upgrades, continue. Oh wow, instead of just walking up the Goddard, we have to go to the stupid portal in order to continue. What kind of sense does that make? Huh. Do I need the randomizer or? Uh, no. Fantastic right. voice. Oh my god, this game stole my idea for a level name. Really? Yeah, it's literally called Fantastic Voyage of Goddard. What was your idea? It was like a fantastic voyage through Goddard or something. Like, I didn't know. I'm not kidding. When did you get the idea and when was this game released? This game was released in 2005. I gave it that name right now because this is the first time I played it since 2007. Wait, the game came out in 2010, but... No, the game came out in 2005. The last time I ever played it was in 2007, and I came up with that name on the spot right here, and the game stole my idea. Huh. It read my mind. Meanwhile, apparently Goddard ate some Lego bricks and a pencil. And a lug nut. And a screw. And more Legos. And more screws. And a wrench. What if they're not really Legos? What if they're mega- yeah, what if they're mega blocks? Oh god, that's worse! <laughs> yeah, like how Spider- like, Spider-Man had Legos for like the first two movies, and then Spider-Man 3 had mega blocks. Oh I gotta god. say, their minion figures look awkward. I don't even know if mega blocks still exist today. Probably. All I know is that Lego's much bigger. I loved building Lego sets. I still have some of them on my shelf. To me, Legos were just mainly, okay, whatever have, or whatever pieces you have, make something out of this. If you don't have an idea, well, um, good luck. <laughs> well, so you follow the logic of the Lego movie. Like, you're one of the master builders who just makes any crap out of any, all, any Lego bricks you can find. Whereas, I'm the guy who loves to follow the directions. Because I like building good structures. In fact, I remember, that's another story. In seventh grade, my dad wanted me to get honors twice in my middle school, and then he would buy me the Lego Death Star, which was like $400. And even today, it's still like $400. It may even be going up, because I don't even know if it's still in print. Jesus Christ, $400 for a Lego set? Well, it's a big Death set, Star? so... Jesus Christ. Never heard of that before. The Millennium Falcon's even worse. That's five hundred dollars. Good lord, that's like at least a console in a game. But anyways, due to a lot of issues I've described in my videos, like a bunch of kids accusing me of bullying, and overall me just not seeking help with assignments. In fact, one particular instance, I was handed out a classwork assignment for a math class. And, um... The kid right next to me just stole the sheet right out of my hands, and he wouldn't give it back. And as a result, and there were like no copies left, so the teacher had to go print out another copy for me, because the kid just like crumpled it up and threw it away. Wow. Ultimately, I end up getting a D in science class. Oh, actually, you just reminded me of something I can say or talk about. So, um, well, actually, you're kind of interrupting me though because I wasn't finished. But oh, sorry. Well, you can tell yours after, but 
Um, so my dad's like, you know what, don't ask me for anything ever again, even though the D wasn't, well, then again, it was kind of my fault, and I did do my damnedest to fix it, which I did. Well, I got, also got a D in Spanish due to a whole confusing thing, because he had to go on paternal leave. Because his wife had a baby, and as a result, we were given substitute teachers that did not know a lick of Spanish. Oh, great. So I couldn't do the assignments. But then, unlike the science teacher who kind of just left me with the D, he gave me a little proposition where if I did all the assignments over Thanksgiving break, he would change the grade. I did all the assignments, he'd change it to a B the next quarter. Nice. But, yeah. And I did improve after that, but I never got my Lego Death Star. In fact, when we went to the Lego store in Orlando later that year, he actually saw we actually saw it, but then when he saw it was $400. And I only had like two hundred and fifty dollars given to me by my aunt. So, oh, that sucks. Yeah. Well, what'd you get instead? Lego Indiana Jones two? Or no, 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 I didn't get that. I got. Um. Actually, I don't know what I got. Huh. Oh, I got the ship, the Clone Wars ship, Star Wars, which I still have on my shelf to this day. Oh no, we need Danny. Oh, we have to badly time this though. What the hell? Why is that stupid thing there? How do we pop it? Actually, I just uh, remember another thing I can talk about. Um, yeah, yeah, tell your story, go. Alright, I have two stories I just remember now. So the first one is um, kind of a short thing. Basically, it was an English class, and um, we had to do this thing about, like, okay, we had to select a song from, like, a list, right? And we had to research about it, like, um, like the social issue the song you know, was addressing and, you know, stuff like that. And, um, I chose Black Zombie by Nas, and basically, all I remembered since it was like a four-day weekend, or a four-day break kind of thing, so, um, all I remembered on the last day, well, on the day we came back, was the first thing that was introduced, and I basically worked on it during my lunch, which I don't usually do, so then I'm like, okay, yes, got that done now. And then apparently there was more to it that I did not realize, and I had to write a whole PowerPoint and stuff like that. So I was like, oh great. Luckily though, um, since we were presenting and I was basically like, the, like one of the people that was like, um, like I had to wait basically, so I had plenty of time to actually make my PowerPoint. So I basically slapsticked it together, I presented it, and I got a 2.5, which is... If you don't know what number grading is, then 2.5 is, like, just under standards, but it's still pretty good. A 3 would be counted as, a, like, a standard. Yeah. And then a 4 is above average. So, yeah, all in all, I got 2.5, and I did pretty well. So, yeah. And then the second thing is um, also pretty short. Basically, I watched a YTP, and it's called, uh, Wrestling is Silly. So, oh shit, sorry. Um, so yeah, Wrestling is Silly, and all I remember is the very beginning part, which I have to say is like the best part of the whole video, and, uh, the announcer uh, was like, The Great, like he was announcing the name of the wrestler, he was like, The Great, cock! It's just really funny. Wow. Yeah. There's also uh, parts right before it, like, standing over India. And shit like that. Weighing seven pounds. It was just really fucking funny. Well, I found out what I had to do. What did you have to do? I had to climb all the way up a walkway, and then the bubble's right here. So, yeah. 
Anyways, if I ever did want to get the LEGO Death Star, I think they do have it in stock at the LEGO store. Well, I, th I don't know if they do now, but I would expect them to keep it in production. Yeah. Because Star Wars is like the biggest LEGO brand that's probably never going to die. Like Mario. Or Call of Duty. Well, Call of Duty may eventually die, but and I don't know about Mario, but we'll see. I doubt Mario will die off. Nah, Mario probably won't die out. Well, then again, that's hard to say now that Super Mario Maker's been out, so... Yeah, well, Super Mario Maker, what do you think of it? It's pretty good. I mean, it's it can be, like, mixed, like a mixed opinion kind of thing, since all the levels are literally, like, fan-created, so... Yeah, well, Little Big Planet um, was ba like well for one thing, Little Big Planet was before Super Mario Maker, and it's kind of the same concept. Like it's kind of a Mario like game where you, where the whole basis is to create your own levels, but there really? is a story mode of pre made levels by the developers. Like, like there is a story mode. Oop! I just pressed the wrong button and wasted the gobble gum. Great. So. I would consider Let's Playing Little Big Planet if only its songs weren't copyrighted. Mm. There's even a game called Mod Nation Racers, which is kind of like um, a create your own Mario Kart kind of thing, where you can create your own racetracks and all that. And then Little Big Planet had its own kind of. Th then eventually, the developers of Mod Nation Racers made Little Big Planet Karting, which is basically Little Big Mod Nation Racers with a Little Big Planet clothing. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Wow, that was fake. Freaking got stuck on, like, little piece of thing when I was supposed to, like, jump off. Wow. By the way, did you know that in Mod Nation Racers, um, Mario and his cart were, like, on the top of the user-created uh, characters and carts for a long time? And probably huh. still are. Did you know that? No. <laughs> the boy chin wonder. I don't really know much about um little big PlayStation. So. Yeah. Whoa! Oh my god! And that's game because they're still spawning apparently. Wow, that was crap. Well. By the way, add these new Cartoon Network and Warner Brothers Let's Plays because. I could basically outline my plan for the Let's Play slots because, well, I have one for Nickelodeon, one for Cartoon Network, Warner Bros., and DC, um, one for Disney, Mar Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars, and then I'm planning on opening up a fourth slot for basically everybody else Universal, DreamWorks, Sony, MGM, um, basically anyone that doesn't relate to any of the previous three. Huh. So, any game, basically. Any other licensed game, yes. Licensed, huh? Yeah, like, I'll do all the DreamWorks stuff, I'll do... Like, anything Universal has done, like... Like, maybe... The game based on the infamous Cat in a Hat movie, maybe the game based on Van Helsing with Hugh Jackman. I could also do the James Bond games, I can do stuff like Stuart Little 2 on PS1. In that slot. So basically, you open yourself up to a bunch of other options in terms of the license games. Yes, because since, well, the three slots I already had were basically, like, the biggest ones. Like, there's a lot of Nickelodeon games, there's a lot of stuff owned by Warner Brothers, there's a lot of stuff owned by Disney, obviously. Yeah. So, but now everyone else is just not that big a thing, so cram them all into one slot. But anyways, I already outlined what I'm doing for Nickelodeon off-screen. So, well, I already said that I'll alternate between doing games featuring these little pupils while alternating with other people like Tack, the Ninja Turtles, um, the Power Rangers, and Avatar Aang, and the Jungle Boy Tack we have not seen since Rocket Power Beach Bandits. We never saw what he was all about. Oh, and the Rugrats, and maybe even Team Rocket. 
team the team rocket from rocket power team rocket power that's how i refer it not team rocket from pokemon sorry if you got excited <laughs> but yes then for cartoon network and warner brothers i just finished ed ed netty yesterday so i'm doing cartoon network racing at the request of several users or probably just one user but because I think one user was asking me several times if I could do Cartoon Network Racing, so I got to do that, and I recorded a few yesterday. Then after that, I'm going to play the game I originally wanted to do after Ed, Ed, and Eddie Teen Titans. Then after that, I'll probably do Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase and Ben 10 Protector of Earth. Then for Disney... I'm going to be playing Spider-Man 2 after Piglet finishes uploading. And then after that, I'm going to play a Star Wars game, go back to Disney, play, probably play Emperor's New Groove. Then I'll go back to Pixar and play Finding Nemo. Then I'll go back to Marvel and probably play X-Men Legends. And the list goes on. Oh. I got a plan. That's how I'm dodging the copyright apocalypse. And if I get false claims, you know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to make the videos private so they can't make a cent off of me. Huh. Because the videos are in fair use, so they should not be making the cl No! Sometimes, it may be from someone who doesn't even own the property just trying to make a quick buck off of me. Like, wow. I told, I think I told that story of how some random South Korean film studio just randomly claimed one of my Tekken 6 videos. I dispute, and they had nothing to do with Tekken, by the way. And Jimmy just ruined that gear out of my way. So, that was the first claim I ever disputed, and thankfully I won. I didn't even have to wait the whole 30 days a lot of YouTubers have to wait. And then, of course, two of my GTA 4 videos got claimed by someone claiming to be Rooster Teeth, like, you know, that popular channel? Yeah. I just took those videos down, and but then again, I made a video asking, well, what do I do? Do I dispute it, or do I just take the videos down? And then, of course, all these Rooster Teeth fanboys started flocking over to the video saying, hey, Rooster Teeth's awesome, it's fa obviously a faker. And even though it was getting me a lot of views, I took it down because I didn't want to piss off a lot of people, so... I still have the video saved, though, so... Wow. Yeah, that was an epic drama. But overall, oh. I've hardly dealt with copyright, so I think I should consider myself lucky. But then again, that's because I don't get a whole lot of views, so I guess people don't think I'm worth the effort. Yeah. By the way, audio is lagging like a bitch. Oh, it is? On you? Yeah. It's fine for me. Hmm. Probably because I haven't said anything. I hope it's not gonna be like that in the final video. And meanwhile, it looks like... It looks like King Gooba in the... What were they called again? I almost said Yugopotamians, but that's fairly odd parents. Yokians! Yokians! I thought... Why is Clam is calling one of the Yokians here? No, that's not a Yokian, but... And it's freaking invincible! How long have you been recording for, anyways? Almost 20 minutes. Okay, so it's almost, almost the end of the video. I was gonna say... <laughs> so it felt like it's been more than 20 minutes while I was like, uh... Has he not noticed this yet? Oh my he god! Gone so has he gone so into the game that he hasn't realized that he's been recording this whole time? Oh, oh. I know what to do. Yes! That's how we do it. Are you still in Goddard by chance? Or... Am I still in what? Yeah, I'm still in Goddard. Okay. It's such a big adventure to find the stupid flea. A yeah. He, he could have just took him apart found it. Yeah, but no, we gotta do this. And another one just spawned in its place. Timmy, heal us. Hope 
That didn't work so well. All right, SpongeBob, your turn. Hit him. Oh, wow, that's still downloading? Oh, my God. I'm trying to How download... How many are there? I'm trying to download a game called Tom Clancy's The Division Beta, and it's been going on for at least two or three hours, and it's still going. Like, wow. I haven't even progressed as much as it should have. Wow. Oh, I downloaded a game called Alpha Protocol because Sega was giving away free games on Steam, and they gave me a coupon to get Alpha Protocol for three bucks. And you know what? I was playing it. I think it's good. Then again, nice. I hear the system versions aren't that good, so... Oh. And these robots just keep spawning in. What the hell? Oh, we need the robot over here. What, do we get Daniel to possess it? Looks like it, yes. Thank God, I figured it out. Now let's kill it. Whoa, everybody's pooped. Timmy, we need your healing powers. And while he heals them up, we'll come back in the next video. Ooh, it's gonna take a long time. Oh. Yes, it is.